In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to cut and sew this little boy's shirt with a collar, sleeves, and button plackets. If you'd love to watch more videos from me, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. You can as well check out my other video where I was teaching how to make the shorts for the boy. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So I'm going to be using this um, measuring tape, my fabric and my matching thread so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to wind my bobbin i'm going to make sure i have at least two full bobbins before i start sewing because in case i run out of bobbin it can be disturbing so let's draft the shirt now so the first thing i'm going to do is i'll start by drafting the back side of the shirt so i have my fabric folded this is for the front back and this will be for the front. So let's draft the back first. So I'm going to put my measurements right here. As you can see, this is the open side from the closed folded side. I'm going to put my shoulder and neck width measurements. So I'll mark the neck width measurements and the shoulder measurements right on this line. So that is my shoulder measurement and the other one here is my neck width measurement. Then after marking my shoulder and neck width, I'm going to put my neck depth of one inch. So this is the back. The back side, the neck depth is only one inch. Then I'm going to curve and shape my neckline for the back. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slant my shoulder. So this is my shoulder line. I'm going to slant it by coming down by, you can either use half inch or one inch since it's a little child's shirt. So I'm going to connect these points here <coughs> with my ruler. Then after connecting, I'm going to mark my armhole measurement right here. So I'm just going to get my measuring tape and mark my armhole measurement right from the slanted shoulder. Then next, I'm going to draw a straight vertical line and another line outwards so this is the straight vertical line and another one outwards then next i'm going to curve my armhole for the back so at this point i'm going to go upwards by one inch then i'm going to curve my armhole then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure my shoulder to chest measurement so I'm going to measure from the tip of the shoulder down to the chest so I'm just going to mark the shoulder to chest measurement right from there going downwards that is the shoulder to chest measurement then next, I'm going to draw a horizontal line across. Then next, I'll measure the shoulder to the full length of the shirt plus hemming allowance. So I'm just going to draw a horizontal line across there. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my the chest measurement divided by 4 plus wiring ease of two inches and seam allowance of one inch so from the chest measurement we're going to add wiring is because this is a shirt and we don't want this to be a tight fitting it has to be loose a bit loose so next i'm going to connect this line up and down with the help of my roller So next I'm just going to cut this out so I have my back piece so next let's draft the front piece I'm going to get my fabric for the front so this is the back as you can see so I'm just going to get my front piece of fabric so the front of the shirt is going to have a button placket so what we're going to do is um, this is the it's on fold from the folded sides I'm going to measure the plackets which is going to be one and a half inches. So I'm going to measure one and a half inch all the way down 
one and a half inch and I'm going to connect it up straight with a ruler so I'm just going to connect and fold the button placket of one and a half inch inside So I'm just going to fold it inside. You can iron it and give it a good press if you so wish. So the next I'm going to get my back piece. I'm going to place it on top and then I'm going to press it. I'm just going to get my back piece and place it right here. So I want you guys to know that the front armhole and front neckline is different from the back so I'll trace um, this back piece but I'm going to do a little modification on the armhole and also on the neckline so I just want you guys to pay attention and see how I'm going to do the modification shortly so I'm just going to trace with my tailor's chalk So after tracing, I'll remove the front, the back. So for the armhole, I'm going to measure the midpoint of this. And on the midpoint, the midpoint of this armhole, at the midpoint, I'm going to go inwards by half an inch. So this is the midpoint. I'm going to go inwards by half an inch. So this is the back um, armhole. I'm just going to erase it. We're going to ignore this. We're going to work with the one that I've just drafted. So we're also going to modify the, the neckline as well. So let me just cut and straighten the hem. Then we're going to go over to the neckline to give it a modification. So for the neckline, um, the neck depth is going to be lowered by one inch. To be lowered by one inch. Then I'm going to curve and connect. So now I'm just going to cut this. So this is my front and I'll cut out the plackets as well. So after cutting out, I'm going to have two front pieces, as you can see. So now we can start stitching and folding our plaquettes. So this is the front. I'll place the front, two front pieces on top of the back piece, right sides facing each other. Then I'm going to stitch at the shoulder seams. So I've just stitched at the shoulders and this is how it looks. And then I'm going to fold and stitch my button placket. So remember my button placket was one and a half inch. I'm going to mark half an inch um, out. So this half an inch, I'm going to fold it. Then we're going to remain with one inch. So I'm going to fold it. You have to do this on the right side. As you can see, not on the wrong side. Make sure you fold from the right side. I'm going to press. Then after pressing with my iron, this is how beautiful it's going to look. Then I'm going to run a stitch right here. So after running a stitch, I'm going to give it another press. This is how neat it should look. You have to stitch towards the edge of the fold. So this is how beautiful it looks. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure around my armhole and then we're going to draft make the sleeve pattern 
then i'm also going to measure around my neckline and we're going to make the um collar so let's draft the so this is the armhole the neckline i'm going to measure as well so i have to keep the measurements write down the measurements so now let's draft the collar so i have two pieces that i'm going to place on top of each other one will be for the right side and one will be for the left side so i'm just going to get my measuring tape and we'll start drafting our collar so from the top there i'm going to come down by two and a half inches if you're making it for an adult you can come down by five inches it's a constant measurement The next, I'm going to measure the sleeve length plus hemming allowance. Then on this line, I'm going to put my armhole circumference. Remember that armhole measurements we measured? That armhole divided by two. The measurement we measured on the bodies divided by two. Then I'm going to connect this point. We're dividing by two because. Um, our part our fabric is on folds the next i'm just going to make a curve the next i'm just going to drop this down so i'm just going to cut out and pin my sleeves so I have two sleeve pieces as you can see. The next I'm going to notch them at the center. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hem and fold by half an inch, a quarter inch, then half an inch, then press. Then I'm going to stitch. So after stitching, the, this is how the sleeves look. The next I'm going to pin and stitch my sleeves. So I'm just spinning and I've stitched my sleeves. This is how they look after stitching them. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the sides. I'll just put them, align them well. Then I'm going to stitch on the sides. So this is how I look after I, I stitch the sides. So next we're going to work on the collar. I'm going to measure around the neckline. And then I'm going to draft the collar on the pattern paper. So I have my pattern paper on fold. Then I'm just going to draw a line which is going to be my starting point as you can see. So note that this pattern paper is on fold. Then from this um, starting point, I'm going to draft my collar stand by going up by two inches. Then I'm going to draw a horizontal line. So I'm just going to go up by two inches. Then I'm going to draw a horizontal line. So this is my collar stand. Remember we're making the collar stand and the collar. So from here, I'm going to go up by three inches. Then I'm going to draw another horizontal line you can even go up by two and a three quarter inches so this is my collar stand and this will be the collar so what i'm going to do next remember we measured around the neckline so whatever measurement you had you have to divide it by two so our measurement was 13 inches we'll divide 13 by two then i'm going to write down that measurements right here so we're dividing by two because our collar pattern is on fold then you can add half an inch of seam allowance or one and one inch seam allowance then we're going to connect up then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to shape our collar stand by coming inwards by one inch then from there, we're going to make a slight curve here. So this is the collar stand, guys. We have a remember we're making a collar stand and a collar. Then I'm going to connect up diagonally. 
so now we have our collar and collar stand i'm just going to from here we're going to come down by a quarter inch then connect this this is just to shape our collar The next I'm just going to cut out my collar and collar stand. So after cutting out, I'm going to dress them onto my fabric. <coughs> so I want you guys to know that we need to have two collar stands and two collars. So I'm going to cut out two collar pieces and two collar stands. But first let's finish cutting out. So this is my collar stand and this is my collar. Okay, so I have my collar and my collar stand. I'm going to cut two pieces of the collar and two pieces of the collar stand. So I'm just drafting and tracing them on the fabric. I'll trace two collar pieces and two collar stands make sure your fabric is on fold as you can see so after tracing I'm just going to pin them and I'm going to cut out so I'm going to have two collar stands and two collar pieces so I'm going to stitch my two collar pieces as you can see after stitching I'm just going to turn them to the right side as you can see then I'm going to give it a good press so after pressing it this is how beautiful it looks then again I'm going to run a top stitch right here from here I'll give it a top stitch so now we're going to start stitching I'm going to sandwich my collar first I'll give it a top stitch I'm going to stitch right here then after stitching giving it a top stitch this is how it looks so now we can start assembling our collar isn't this beautiful guys please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so we have our beautiful collar and two collar stands so i'm going to turn the collar stands facing upside down and sandwich them between the or sandwich the collar between the two collar stands so the collar stands are facing upside down have you seen the the shape the collar stands have made Initially the collar stands were supposed to be down. So after stitching, this is how it looks. Then I'm going to turn it out. Then I'm going to give it a good press. So now we're going to attach our collar to the shirt. But before we do that, um, I want you guys to see this is how we're going to attach it We'll attach and stitch but before we do that there's one more step we need to fold this raw edge of the collar the collar stand and give it a good press so I have folded and pressed the raw edges I hope you guys can see the raw edges are hiding then next I'm going to attach um, the collar to the shirt I'm just going to attach it to the shirt and take it to the sewing machine and stitch so this is how beautiful it looks guys please give this video a thumbs up this looks so neat i really appreciate it and it will encourage me to make more videos for you so after sewing the shirt collar we're going to hem this is how beautiful it looks we're going to hem the shirt by folding the bottom two times then I'm also going to serge it or take it to the overlocker. You can also watch the short video tutorial in the description box.